Hey everyone, if you've been thinking about setting up live streaming and want to see how I've done it, keep watching. If we have not met yet, hello, my name is Shelly. This is Shelly Saves the Day. On my channel, we are doing life hacks, tech tips, and beauty videos. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. This video is for Kimberlea, for Drea, for Sneha, all three of you asked how I'm setting up live stream and I wanted to make a video so I can show you and anyone else who's interested how to set up live streaming with OBS. So this software is free from the internet and I'm going to show you step by step what I did to install it and how I use it. The first thing you're going to do is fire up a web browser of your choice and head over to obsproject.com. Then choose download software and choose the software that is most appropriate for your computer. OBS is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. After the software is done downloading, go ahead and install it. Follow the instructions on the screen to finish installation. Now that you've installed the software program, let's go ahead and open it up. To be able to stream to YouTube, you are going to need to set up a couple of things. Start by selecting settings in the bottom right hand corner. From the menu on the left hand side, select stream. Under the menu for service, be sure to select YouTube, YouTube gaming and under the server menu, make sure it says primary YouTube ingest server. The stream key information is private, so make sure not to share this with anyone or else they can stream under your channel. To get this information, we're gonna go to YouTube and I'll show you where to find it. Head on over to YouTube and go to your creator studio, and then you're gonna select the live streaming section on the left. Now in the center of the screen below your thumbnail, you're gonna see the information for your encoder setup. This has your server URL, but most importantly, your stream key. You'll hit the reveal button so that you can actually see what the key is, and then just copy and paste it from YouTube over to OBS. Now that we've set up how to stream, now let's focus on what we're going to actually be streaming. I previously set up my webcam, so I'm gonna show you how I did it. The first thing you'll need to do is create a scene. You'll do that on the lower left-hand side of the screen, and then you'll need to name your scene. I name mine webcam. Make sure that you have your scene selected, and now we're going to move on and add a source from the box on the right hand side. A scene can have many sources, in fact you'll see later on that mine have three, but first I'm going to start with the video capture device. I'm using a Logitech C920 webcam, which is capable of HD, so I'm going to unselect the use preset so that I can select a resolution of 1920 by 1080. I'm also going to go ahead and set the simple frame per second to 24. Next up, I'm going to select an audio input. I am using the Blue Yeti microphone. If you practice online and find the audio and the video isn't working, listen up. In the center of the screen, click the icon that looks like a little gear and then select advanced audio properties. Under the option where it says sync offset in the center, select a value between 300 and 500. That's about the right range so that your audio will be delayed so that your lips will match your voice on screen. You'll need to play around with it for yourself, but this is going to save you so much headache. Make sure when you're broadcasting live that your computer actually is set to mute. Otherwise, your audio is going to echo again and again, which is really annoying. You may have noticed on my live streams that I have a countdown clock that starts before I switch over to my webcam, and here's how I do that. From the menu on the left, I'm selecting to add a new scene, and I'm naming it Countdown. I make sure that the scene is selected on the left-hand side, and then I'm going to add a source. Under the available options, I'm going to select Media Source. I named my Media Source Countdown Clock, and then all I needed to do was point my computer to a local file, and then click OK. I knew I didn't want to make any more changes to my countdown clock, so I went ahead and selected the lock icon next to the name of the file. And this is what my countdown clock looks like. When I'm preparing to do a live stream, I prefer to be in studio mode. That way I can preview what it is that I'm going to be switching to in the next transition and what anyone would see if they're currently watching a live stream. And for your reference, what people would be seeing on the live stream is what is on the right hand side. When you have multiple scenes selected, you can select different transitions and timing for in-between scenes. You can also order your scenes in the menu on the left hand side using the arrow keys. So here's a preview of what it looks like. So we have the countdown clock going on, and then I'm going to switch to the webcam, and then when I hit the transition, that's when the people would be seeing me live. The last thing I'm going to add to my scene for the webcam is the pop-out chat window from the YouTube live streaming page. So you go there and hit the pop-out chat so you have a second window. Then you're going to transfer back over to OBS and then you're going to do a add source 
from a window capture. I've named mine chat window and then in the menu you're going to see a long list where it says pop out. That's the one that you want. Now you have your choice with this. You can select the show window shadow which gives you more of your actual background or if you unselect it, it will hug that upper left hand corner. One helpful hint here is for you to see a change in the actual size of the pop out window on your screen, you have to go to the pop out window itself and resize it. In the event that you don't want to show your chat window, you can always select the eye icon next to what you've named it and it will make it appear or disappear on the screen. If you wanted to make some changes in the way that your webcam looks, you can always go to filters under whatever scene your webcam is part of. There are 10 filters here that you can choose from, including being able to crop or color correct. So I'm doing color correct just to show you what this looks like. All of this takes a little while to learn, so if you don't get it the first time, don't worry. Just keep practicing, and I do suggest practicing the live stream because it's good to try the different transitions, making things appear on screen, going between items. I think it's worth practicing once or twice before you do it for real. And you can always put your live stream on private so that you can practice and no one has to see it. When you're ready to stream for real, there's going to be a button on the right hand side that says start streaming and it will go straight to YouTube because you've already put in your streaming key. Once you hit that button, switch over to YouTube and you'll see that it goes from offline to online. Make sure to fill out all of your thumbnails, tags, descriptions before you hit that streaming button because that is what people will see when they click on your video. You can select the box for schedule live stream and this will let people know that you're planning to go live and they can tune in at a certain time. When you're done with your live stream, you're going to have to switch back over to OBS and select the button for stop stream. If you're going to want to go back and make significant edits, you might want to hit the move to unlisted after stream ends. Otherwise, you're all done. Congratulations. So that's it guys. Obviously there is a lot more stuff that you can do and a lot of stuff that I have not played around with and discovered yet, but those are just some of the basics of how I'm setting up my live stream. It's up to you guys to take it to the next level. If you guys have questions on this, leave it in the comment section. I will try my best to answer it. As always, I hope you guys are doing so awesome. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you in a video very soon. Bye guys.